with uh, the first issue of Mac Afro, mm -hmm. you had a famous editor or letterer. Was it letterer or editor? Oh, well, who was the letterer? Was it Richard Pryor? Yes. <laughs> I think, yes. No, every issue had it. I was I, the letterer. Eh. Truth be told. Oh, really? Yeah, but I didn't want to list myself as the letter. Okay. And I, I did not do a good job either. I don't <laughs> know if you noticed. But uh, so, yeah, I would just put different. Each issue you'll have see a different. Oh, letter. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> was, I think maybe he had just passed away or something. Oh, and, wow. So I just you did know, it as a, as a joke. As, as a, a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, that's, I can't remember who else I used, but yeah. Yeah, there was a, there was a few others because I remember every issue had a different letter, and I'm like, how come Mike doesn't use the same letter or the same? And I'm like, oh, that's, <laughs> it, it's it all comes comes to fruition now. I love yeah. it. Um, and then after um after that, you had created a political book. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, Joshua Dysart. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very politically oriented, and motivated, mm -hmm. and stuff. Uh, and my friend Josh is too. I mean, Josh now does work for the UN. I don't have it here with oh, me. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it actually sold out. I mean, oh. I have a few copies, but they're somewhere. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he told me, like, like we were, this was in the 2004 election. I believe it was Bush against John Kerry. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to do something to, you know, try to help yeah, yeah. our side out as much as we could. And, uh, I mean, now, like, this, this guy we have now, it, like, makes Bush look like a saint. <laughs> but back then, we, you know, we had the Valerie Plame scandal. We had a lot of different things that that we thought if we put it in a comic, maybe made it sort of, you know, more accessible. it's like when you put your, your, your cat's medicine inside a peanut butter, mm -hmm. you know, try to make it digestible and, yeah. and uh, uh, something that people will read, maybe get mad at mm -hmm. and get mad about um, that we could do something. And the book sold really well. Uh, Brad Rader was the artist on it. Mm -hmm. He currently does that. What's that one, that show, that cartoon about hormones? I'm not sure. It's on Big Mouth. Okay. Yeah, so he's doing that now. He, he worked on Bob's Burgers. Uh, Josh wrote it, and yeah, I mean, my contribution to that book, besides paying for putting it out, was um, I put Dick Cheney in the Iron Man ch chest plate. Uh -huh. He had a bad heart. Uh -huh. He has a bad heart. <laughs> so he, he wears Tony Stark's armor <laughs> on his chest. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And so you and Josh kind of came up with this idea. and just It was mostly Josh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was our idea to make a, a Bush comic, but Josh did, I would say, 98% of, of the writing on that. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. And then after... You should th have him on your show. He's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've loved, I love Josh, and I love talking to him. He's one of the, the only writers I've talked to who's kind of, like, gone full undercover into writing a story for his, uh, his first Vertigo book. And that, that was, to me, really, really fascinating. What was that? Yeah. Unknown Soldier, you mean? I think it was Unknown Soldier. He went uh, into... Oh, no, yeah. He wrote Swamp Thing before that. But, yeah, Un Unknown Soldier was... Yeah, he went to... Uh, yeah, to uh, Africa. In, to Africa, yeah. And was able to go and... and He's nuts. Yeah. To, for <laughs> doing that for, for, for a story, it just kind of was like, wow. Like, you don't hear people doing this. They no, kind of just write... He's been, he, now he's been to Afghanistan. I think he's been on the border of Iraq and stuff. Wow. That, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah.